there was no testimony presented at the, the previous hearing. So I expect that we'll go to the second hearing and go pretty quickly. Uh, most of you, I can tell by the red shirts, uh, that um, are more interested in the second public hearing, which is um, for the Ali uh, project. So we'll be taking out the data after we finish the parts. Okay, we have a forum present, so I'll just get started with the uh, hearing. I'd like to start on time. So good afternoon. I'd like to call to order the January 4th, uh, 2017 decision-making public hearing of the Hawaii Community Development Authority. The time is now 1 o'clock uh, p.m. Uh, this is decision-making the part of Rule 11. My name is John Wayland, Chair of the Authority and the Presiding Officer for the hearing. Let the record reflect that the following members are present. David Rodriguez, uh, Scott Penny, uh, Mary Pat Waterhouse, Bo Bassett, Jason Oklahoma, William O, Stephen uh, Scott will join us presently, and we uh, and will uh, Today's public hearing is being convened under the provisions of Chapter 91 and Chapter 206E, Hawaii Revised Statute in Title 15, Chapter 9. 19 Hawaii Administrative Rules uh, to consider the following matter. The CDA is proposing to amend Title 15, Chapter 210, uh, Administrative Rules entitled Rules, Regulations, Charges, and Fees to Parks. Uh, to address the use and maintenance of parks under ACDA's jurisdiction, this meeting is being held to allow ACDA staff to inform the authority of the outcome of the public hearing <coughs> held on December 21st, 2016, and provide the authority the opportunity to question the authority's appointed hearings officer who conducted the public hearing prior to the authority entering into the deliberations regarding what actions to take regarding the proposed rule, uh, park rule amendments. On December 21st, 2016, at 9 a.m., a public hearing on the subject matter was held for the purpose of receiving public comments. The, the authority's hearings officer, attorney Curtis Tabata, uh, provided a report of those proceedings to all authority members. Um, <coughs> additionally, the report was posted on HCBA's website and a public copy is available for viewing outside the, uh, the foyer, outside the room. At the public hearing, the, public, the, the hearings officer solicited comments from the public. However, no members of the public testified at the December 21st, 2016 public hearing. Additionally, no written testimony was received by that date of the public hearing. Uh, today's hearing is being convened to render a decision on the proposed park rule amendments. And I'd like to note right now for the record that uh, Stephen Scott and Wei Feng joined the hearing. The uh, notice of these public hearings was published on November 20, 2016 in the Honolulu Star Advertiser, Hawaii Tribune Herald, West Hawaii Today, Maui News, and The Garden Island. The notice was also sent to HCDA's email list and posted on the HCDA website. A copy of the notice can also be viewed uh, outside in the foyer. Uh, if anyone present is interested in reviewing it. Uh, so before we receive uh, public comment, let me briefly explain the procedures for the hearing. First, the ACDA staff will present its report uh, via Lindsay Floyd. The hearings officer uh, shall be available to answer any questions from the authority member. Uh, following that, we will hear testimony by the public in order that the individuals have signed up. Individual comments will be limited to no more than three minutes. Only members of the authority will be permitted to ask questions of the public. Members, if you have any questions for a testifier, please raise your hand at the conclusion of their remarks. 
At the end of deliberations, I will call for a motion with the authority uh, to, to vote on this measure. Uh, ACDA's uh, asset manager, uh, Lindsay Doy, uh, will now present her report on the proposed amendment. Uh, good afternoon, members. Uh, the HCDA is proposing to amend Title 15, Chapter 210, Hawaii Administrative Rules, entitled Rules, Regulations, Charges, and Fees for Parks to address the use and maintenance of the parks under the HCDA's jurisdiction. The park rules were last amended in 2007. The proposed substantive amendments to the park rules include the following. Clarify definitions under Section 15-210-2. Increase graduated fines for penalties, Section 15-210-3. Park use clarifications, Section 15-210-13. Prohibitions of unleashed animals, except in designated dog parks, Section 15-210-14. Clarification on park closures for maintenance work, Section 15-210-15. Addition of abandoned property disposal, removal, notice, storage, reclamation, and other procedures, section 15-210-60. Elimination of temporary concession permits, section 15-210-46. Changes to group use and special use permits, section 15-210-46. Changes to security deposits for park permits, section 15-210-46 and changes to usage fee schedule for park permits. That's section 15-210-49. Um, by way of a timeline, HCDA staff first presented these proposed draft amendments to the park rules to the authority on June 1, 2016. Those proposed amendments were posted online at hcdaweb.org, and on September 21, 2016, HCDA staff made another presentation before the Small Business Regulatory Review Board or SBRRB. The SBRRB then voted to recommend holding public hearings on the park rules. On October 21st, 2016, Governor David Ige approved the HCDA to hold public hearings on the park rule amendments. As mentioned earlier, public notice was published on November 20th, 2016, in all major newspapers on the main Hawaiian Islands and sent to our mailing list. A hearings officer conducted the first public hearing on December 21, 2016, and his report was posted on HCDA's website. Um, that public hearings officer, Curtis Tabaka, is also here in the audience should the board have any questions uh, regarding that public hearing. Okay. Anybody, uh, any comments or questions of the board members to um, Lindsay Joy or Curtis Tabaka? <coughs> Since the uh, notice of public hearing was published on November 20th, uh, 2016, and written testimony invited as of today, the HCDA has received uh, no written testimony. Uh, we'll now hear testimony from the public if there's anyone present who wishes to present testimony. I would, I would like to have a chance to do that. To testify? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll be calling up um, Public testimony, if you could keep your sure. testimony to Fine. three, six things. You want me to do it now? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Should I sit here? Sure. Sorry, I'm dealing with this uh, video. Also, I'm going to leave it right here. My name is H. Doug Matsuoka with the Hawaii Gorilla Video Hui. I'm here basically to see how the uh, Hawaii, the Honolulu Administrative Rules Changes process happens because my interest is in the changes in the rules of Thomas Square, which is in the opposite uh, area of, of the parks affected. Mm -hmm. Now, the parks affected, and I'm also a, a advocate for the right, civil rights of the homeless people, okay, which is why I'm here. I'm not here. Um, right now as an advocate of the people who are homeless now. I'm actually here more as an advocate for the rights of the people who will be homeless, become homeless in this current year. We have a growing homeless population. That means the people who will become homeless in this year 
are currently housed. And until uh, decent people of modest means can actually afford to live <coughs> in Hawaii, I'm against the changes in these rules. The changes in these rules include including uh, increasing uh, park fees by up to 500 percent for various things. Um, I think there is no public comment because the public doesn't know about these things. You hold the, the hearings when people are at work. I have a job. I took the day off to be here to observe how these, this process happens. Uh, and I'm, I'm really appalled at it. Um, I, I uh, want to come out against all the changes, including uh, the ability of the HCDA to appoint what's basically their own police force to harass homeless people. I mean, it's really clear if you read the rules. They get to create their own police force uh, that has the authority to, to, to kick people around. Um, this area that we, that's in question is also the intersection of three council districts, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. So I don't know if any input uh, at the public uh, hearing or if there was any attendance by uh, I guess it's council member Ozawa, uh, Kobayashi and Fukunaga, 4th, 5th and 6th council uh, districts um, and I don't know if any of their representatives are here today when this should be really uh, something that the council has at least knowledge and oversight of. I think the process is flawed enough to invalidate the hearing and I oppose it and I think you should uh, not pass it and carry it over for further uh, consideration by the public and uh, the public and their um, and the politicians who represent them. Thank you. Any questions?
when we were kids, well, I'm older than, younger than some of you, older than, but when we were kids, there were no park closure hours. We had the pleasure of sitting there till four in the morning and, and kind of till, till, till four in the morning if we wanted. And now you get a ticket. So we need, we really need to have special considerations for our, our homeless. We need to have special considerations of, of diversity in our parks and public, and we need to restore the commons. Thank you.
Having reviewed the park uh, rule amendments and the hearing officer report, um, members, would you uh, please indicate yes or no as I call your name that you have reviewed the record and are prepared to deliberate on this matter? The first step. David Rodriguez? Yes. Scott Kemme? Yes. Uh, Wei Fang? Yes. Mary Pat Waterhouse? Paul Gasset? Yes. Chase Nokahama? Yes. William O? Yes. Stephen Scott? Yes. And uh, I've also read, read the interview the record. Uh, at, this, uh, at this point, members, uh, is there, if anyone feels a uh, need to uh, consult with the board attorneys on the proposed rule amendments about any legal issues. Um, I did entertain a motion uh, to that effect. Um, is there such a motion? Um, you are going into executive session. Going into executive session, okay. Uh, it would be a motion for an action, a resolution to amend chapter 15, title 15, chapter 210, HER, entitled Rules, Regulations, Charges, and Fees at Parks. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Second. It's been moved by uh, member Scott and seconded by member Oklahoma uh, to go into executive session. Is there any discussion on this motion? Okay, uh, we could get a roll call vote. Member Waterhouse? Yes. Member Thomas? Yes. Member. They have moved and uh, agreed to go into executive session, which is they talk without the public listening to them. So they estimate coming back in about 20 minutes. We're at the uh, Honolulu Administrative Rules meeting for the HCDA Hawaii Community Development Authority that was formed. Uh, several years ago to fast-track developments in the Kaka'ako area, what we call Billionaire's Row now, because it uh, has condos coming up and already constructed uh, with uh, luxury condos for $35 million at the Waiea. Uh, Currently under consideration, Hawaii administrative rules changes that governs the park parks in Kaka'ako to raise fees for various things by up to 500 percent and creation of the uh, ACD authority police that would uh, be able to harass the homeless people uh, and take their stuff. Um, it would be the first uh, non-police um, authority to do that, although the city already has a group that does that. I think uh, I might stay live and I, I will find out what these guys in the red shirts are about.
Hey, I'm, uh, you're live on the internet. Anybody want to say what you're about? I notice you have shirts, uh, Save Our Kaka'ako. Anybody want to be a spokesman and say something? That would be <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, we are, from the com we are from the community, and we, um, we have been very vigilant to make sure that Kaka'ako is built right from Malka to Makai. And what we're here for is the Ali'i project, the Howard Hughes Corporation project, to ah. ensure that it follows the rules and I see. that we make sure that the kinds of things promised in their plan is executed, implemented, and making sure that HCDA allows us to work amicably with all the developers, but making sure that they I see. follow the rules. What, what sort of rules are you particularly well, concerned there's, about? There's one that they're building um, a podium that was supposed to be limited to 45 feet. Yeah. They're going up to 75 feet. I see. There's a building that's too close to another building, um, the, the AO, which doesn't have residents yet, so they can't say. Uh, so we want right. to make sure. They also said they're going to have more parks and green spaces. We want to make sure, make that, sure that there are parks. Very, I see. Yeah, so. um, and you're, I guess, most of you residents of Kaka'ako, yeah? Okay, you have a really organized group. I, you know, you're the only yeah, group that's that's here at a, at a <laughs> you know, HCDA uh, Honolulu and, and by the way, administrative this, rules. This HCDA board is much better than we've ever had. Oh. And, and you should be pleased that John Whalen is yeah. a planner and he's very uh, fair. I'm so a I'm a general malcontent about everything. It's probably yeah, can get so. But where are you from? <laughs> I live in uh, Alevano. I used to live in Makiki. I just moved. So. Good. Well, I'm glad you're caring and that you know you take care of the homeless because we're interested in affordable housing and you know, you know I think if housing was actually affordable, you'd have much less yeah. homeless people. You know, that's yeah. that's my point. So I'm actually an advocate for the rights of the people who w will become homeless this year. You know. You know the um, the HCDA law calls for a diversified community. It's supposed to be a mixture of uh, economic Mixed income there. community as they, s they have on the, the mainland. The law stands behind that, but it's been very difficult to get these people to actually deliver yeah, sure. affordable sure. housing. Well, there's a lot of luxury condos going on, and that's going to, that kicks. Because yeah. you know, he's a doctor, and he has to go all the way to IAEA to get his Ah, okay. That's also supposed to be part of it. Well, it's good to see people organize. How how is how did you guys come to? Because we were shocked when we saw the newspaper a couple of years back. Yeah. When um, Andrew Gomes had the spread in the Star advertising yeah. that said "Wow," and it had all these buildings coming. Up right, I remember wow. that. We didn't know about it. So I think you had a march it. once. I marched with you guys. Yes. So it was oh, yeah. part of a march. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're still here. <laughs> there, that's good. Thank I don't know you. how much we've accomplished. <laughs> okay, well, thanks. I might stay for your portion of the. Okay, and we'll sorry to like hold up your portion of the uh, hearing. Come join us. <laughs> I'll come join you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you related to Alan Muscle? No, my. The rest of my guys are still back in the old country. <laughs> I'm going to keep rolling live. You want to say anything? Okay. 20 minutes. I think I'll, I'll roll live while... Are you done? Is it off? No, it's on. Hi. Anyway, no, no, no. I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if I should continue to... Continue live or... Um, or go uh, offline until uh, <coughs> maybe I'll go maybe I'll go offline. I'm going offline while the uh, decision making uh, body is in executive session, meaning discussing things behind that door without <laughs> the, uh, without anybody witnessing. So there, are, this is a um, private board. There are no. Um, elected 
representatives on this board. Um, there are no elected representatives, I believe, in, even in attendance. This area is the uh, intersection point of three council districts, the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th. That's uh, Ozawa from the uh, rich uh, east side, that's Hawaii Kai, to, I guess, Ainakoa, and then that would be uh, Ann Kobayashi from Ainakoa, Manoa, parts of Makiki, and then uh, Carol Fukunaga, the 6th district, which is from parts of Makiki over to Aleva and uh, that part of heavily populated part of town. Uh, this hearing is about changing the rules in the park. One is to increase the uh, fees for various events to um, up to 500 uh, percent, which would freeze out, you know, a lot of uh, local people, which is okay with these guys. I don't think the local people, that's us, what I call us, <laughs> um, want, you know, but they want the billionaires to be happy. So. It's all part of that system, you know, keep people working. Yeah, keep people working, that's right. For and gaining a place to live, but at the same time, while you're doing that, they're, they're compromising that. And this concerns the parks uh, on the Kakaako side of Billionaire's Row. The other side, on the Malka side, we have Thomas Square, and that's really why I came, is to see how these administrative rules hearings work. They can change, make drastic changes with uh, not only zero public um, oversight, but no oversight from elected officials, which, which is bad enough already if you follow council politics. Anyway, I'm signing off until um, I'm signing off until uh, the committee uh, comes back. So stay tuned. Okay, thank you. Why is nobody using the park? Why is it